Imagine you are walking on the beach and you find a strange metal object that looks like nothing you have ever seen before. You wonder where it came from and what it is. Could it be a piece of an airplane, a satellite, or something else? Now imagine that this object came from another star system and it was part of an alien spacecraft that visited our planet. How would you feel? What would you do? This may sound like science fiction, but it could be reality. In fact, a Harvard professor believes he has found fragments of alien technology from a meteor that landed in the ocean near Papua New Guinea in 2014. He and his team just brought the materials back to Harvard for analysis, and they are convinced that they are not natural, but artificial. This is one of the most amazing discoveries in the history of astronomy, and it could change everything we know about the universe and our place in it. In this episode, we will tell you everything you need to know about this incredible story and what it means for us and our future. Stay tuned. The question of whether we are alone in the universe has fascinated humans for centuries. Are there other intelligent beings out there? Have they ever visited us? How can we find them? These are some of the questions that scientists, philosophers, and ordinary people have asked and tried to answer. The search for extraterrestrial life is not easy. The universe is vast, and we have only explored a tiny fraction of it. We have sent probes and telescopes to explore our solar system and beyond, looking for signs of life or habitable planets. We have also used radio waves to listen for signals from other civilizations, hoping to hear a message or a hello. So far, we have not found any conclusive evidence of extraterrestrial life, but we have found some clues that suggest we are not alone. For example, we have discovered thousands of exoplanets, or planets orbiting other stars, some of which could be suitable for life. We have also detected organic molecules and water on some moons and asteroids in our solar system, which are essential ingredients for life as we know it. But perhaps the most intriguing clue came in 2017, when astronomers observed a mysterious object flying through our solar system at high speed. This object was unlike anything they had ever seen before. It was long and thin, like a cigar or a pancake, and it had a shiny surface that reflected sunlight. It also changed its direction and speed as it passed by the sun, as if it was propelled by some force. The object was named Oumuamua, which means scout or messenger in Hawaiian. Scientists debated what it was and where it came from. Some said it was a comet or an asteroid from another star system, but others said it could be something more exotic, a piece of alien technology perhaps a probe or a sail sent by another civilization to explore our solar system. One of the scientists who proposed this idea was Avi Loeb, a professor of astronomy at Harvard University. He argued that Oumuamua's shape, brightness, and behavior were not consistent with natural objects, but rather with artificial ones. He also pointed out that Oumuamua appeared shortly after the first detection of gravitational waves from the merger of two black holes in 2016, which could have been a signal or a trigger for an alien civilization to send us a message. Loeb's idea was controversial and met with skepticism by many of his colleagues, who accused him of being unscientific and sensationalist. But Loeb did not give up. He continued to study Oumuamua and look for other possible interstellar visitors. And in 2023, he made another stunning discovery. He found fragments of alien technology from a meteor that landed in the ocean near Papua New Guinea in 2014. How did Loeb find these fragments? And what are they exactly? Let's go back to 2014, when a bright fireball streaked across the sky over Papua New Guinea on September 25th. The fireball exploded with a loud boom over the ocean near Manus Island creating a shockwave that was detected by sensors around the world. The fireball was caused by a meteor entering the Earth's atmosphere at high speed. A meteor is a small piece of rock or metal that comes from space and burns up as it passes through the air. Most meteors come from within our solar system, either from asteroids or comets that orbit the Sun. But some meteors come from outside our solar system, from other stars or galaxies. These are called interstellar meteors, Interstellar meteors are very rare and hard to detect. They travel faster than regular meteors and have different trajectories and compositions. They also carry information about the origin and history of their parent bodies, which could be planets, stars, or even alien spacecraft. 
The meteor that exploded over Papua New Guinea in 2014 was one of these interstellar meteors. Loeb learned about it from a report by the U.S. Space Command, which tracks objects in space for military and civilian purposes. The report confirmed with almost near certainty, 99.999%, that the meteor came from another solar system. It also gave Loeb a rough location of where it might have landed in the ocean, within a 10 kilometers, 6.2 mile radius. Loeb was intrigued by this meteor and wanted to find out more about it. He wondered if it could be related to Oumuamua or another alien technology. He decided to organize an expedition to search for fragments of the meteor on the ocean floor. He raised $1.5 million from private donors and hired a team of deep sea explorers to join him. The expedition took place in March 2023, on board a ship called the Silver Star. The ship sailed to the area where the meteor was estimated to have fallen and used a sonar device to map the ocean floor. The team then attached a sled with magnets to a cable and lowered it into the water, dragging it along the bottom to collect any metallic objects. The team made several passes along and around the projected path of the meteor, covering a distance of about 100 kilometers, 62 miles. They retrieved the sled every few hours and examined its contents. They found a lot of debris and junk, such as fishing hooks, bottle caps, and coins, but they also found something else, tiny spherical metallic objects that looked very different from anything else. These objects were about half a millimeter in size and had different colors, gold, blue, brown, and some that resembled a miniature Earth. They were almost perfect spheres, or metallic marbles, that looked very distinct from the background when viewed under a microscope. They were also very strong and hard, unlike any space rock that NASA has cataloged. The team collected 50 of these objects in total and brought them back to Harvard for analysis. They used various instruments and techniques to determine their composition, structure, and origin. They found out that the objects were made of 84% iron, 8% silicon, 4% magnesium, 2% titanium, and trace elements. They also found out that they had a very high speed outside the solar system, 60 kilometers per second, 37 miles per second, which is faster than 95% of all stars near the sun. These results amazed Loeb, who concluded that these objects were not natural, but artificial. He argued that they were fragments of alien technology from a meteor that came from another civilization. He compared them to the Voyager spacecrafts that NASA launched in 1977 and will eventually leave the solar system. According to him, these spacecrafts could collide with another planet far away in the future and appear as meteors of unusual composition and speed. Loeb based his conclusion on several arguments. First, he pointed out that the object's shape was too perfect to be natural. He explained that natural objects tend to be irregular and asymmetrical, while artificial objects tend to be symmetrical and smooth. Second, he noted that the object's composition was too exotic to be natural. He explained that natural objects tend to have similar proportions of elements as the sun or the earth, while artificial objects tend to have different proportions of elements depending on their function and design. Third, he observed that the object's speed was too high to be natural. He explained that natural objects tend to have lower speeds than stars because they lose energy due to gravity and friction, while artificial objects tend to have higher speeds than stars because they gain energy from propulsion or slingshot effects. Loeb's conclusion was also supported by his previous research on Oumuamua. He recalled that Oumuamua had similar characteristics as the objects, an unusual shape, brightness, and behavior that suggested it was not a comet or an asteroid, but an alien technology. He speculated that Oumuamua could have been part of the same spacecraft or device as the objects, or could have been sent by the same civilization. Many scientists criticized Loeb for being too speculative and jumping to conclusions without enough evidence. They suggested that there could be other explanations for the object's shape, composition, and speed that did not involve aliens. They accused Loeb of ignoring other possibilities and looking for what he wanted to see. But Loeb did not care about the criticism. He defended his approach as scientific and rational and said that he was looking for the simplest and most plausible explanation for his observations. He stated that he was open-minded and willing to change his mind if new evidence contradicted his hypothesis. He admitted that he was not afraid of being wrong or being ridiculed. 
He also expressed his curiosity and wonder and said that he wanted to share his findings with the public and inspire them to think about the big questions of life and the universe. He stated that he believed that we are not alone and that we have a duty to find out who else is out there and what they are doing. He described his discovery of the fragments of alien technology as a milestone in the search for extraterrestrial life and said that it could have profound implications for our future. He mentioned that it could help us understand more about the origin and evolution of life, the diversity and complexity of intelligence, and the potential for cooperation or conflict among civilizations. He added that it could also challenge our assumptions and beliefs about ourselves and our place in the cosmos. Thank you for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you want to keep up with more exciting news and stories about astronomy and space exploration, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.